Hey guys, it's Equus Entertainment. I'm here with another video for you guys. Today I am going to be testing dollar store products for your horse part two. Also, don't forget, I'm still looking for topics for the IMO series that I'm going to be doing soon. I would like to address a couple topics per video if I can. So far I've had one suggestion, which is a very good suggestion. I might actually just make a whole video dedicated to that because I've been researching it like a crap ton and found a lot of information and actually tr changed my original stance on the subject, which is weird because I normally don't do that, but I found enough research and information about it that was really interesting. And so I'll share that with you guys in an upcoming video whenever I get around to that. Uh, yeah, so I was at the dollar store the other day picking out like I needed like a brush hairbrush, regular hairbrush, like a cheap one that was pink to match all my pink tack. And so I just like went there to pick one up and then I was like, oh, you could use this for your horse. And like, you know, so I found like a bunch of other things that you could use for your horse. I'm like, yeah, I'll just make, buy all this crap and do a video about it and see if it all works. So here we go, we'll try this, see if it works. Totally not horse related at all, but I saw these and kind of had to get them. And the only reason why was so that I could do this. So, yeah, abusive horse mom, oh my gosh, but yeah, I thought I would try this and see if it works. Alright, next thing I got was, let's see, what I originally went to the dollar store for to begin with, I just needed a hairbrush. But yeah, for like brushing manes and tails, if you brush your horse's tail, technically you're not supposed to, but if you're kind of lazy and in a hurry and don't have time to pick it, you just kind of brush it and sheen it and hope that you don't pull out too much hair. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about it is that it's like polka dotted, so I might take some like nail polish remover and see if I can get off the polka dots, so hopefully that'll work, and that'll just be pink. I also got like a comb, and this is like actually looks like a really nice comb. Like it's really pretty heavy duty and like thick plastic, and it's like the detangling type. So I'm hoping this will work. And it's actually a really pretty color pink. I wish this was this color. I wish this was this color, but it's not. So, but yeah, I saw this and I thought I would get it because that way I have a pink comb as well. So for this part, I just decided to do a voiceover because it was kind of windy outside. I didn't feel like having to put up with all that. But first, as you can see here, I'm trying out the comb, and it worked pretty well in my opinion. Um, I hadn't combed or brushed Piper's Mane in probably like a month, uh, just because it's so thick and it takes forever. But um, it went through the tangles and stuff really well. I hadn't show she and did her anything ahead of time. This is just like straight using the comb. So yeah, it worked pretty well. Then I'm trying the brush here, and I did manage to get all the polka dots off with the nail polish remover. Um, and personally I think I like the comb a little bit better, but I mean, at least I have a brush now if I have two uh, brush tails in a pinch. I can, I can do that and it all matches at least. Then I saw these things. And again, they're pink, um, and they're like over the door hooks, but I thought I would try them on, uh, like put them in my trailer or something like that and use them for something. I could probably hang a bridle on them. So for these, I decided uh, they probably wouldn't work very well in my trailer. Uh, so what I was thinking I could do was for when I go to overnight shows, I can stick them over the side of a stall wall uh, for like a, my tack stall or sleeping stall if I sleep out in the barn uh, at an overnight show. And they fit over like uh, 2x4s really well and you can put like halter or whatever on there on the end and then you can thread like a lead rope through there too. Alright, then I got this thing again, another pink thing, I'm sorry. That's, I think it's the last pink thing I got. But, um, it's like a scrubby thing, like for bathing. And it's got like the loofah stuff on the one side. 
and um, I got a car scrubbing mitt thing in my last Dollar Tree video, but it really didn't work very well. So I'm hoping this one will work better. This is actually like for people like bathing and um, but yeah, it's like a loofah thing, but it's got like a handle thing on the back so you can just like stick it on and like make bubbles. So I'm hoping this works better. We'll try this and put it in the video and see if it works. I was pretty impressed with the loofah sponge. Uh, it scrubbed really well and got like the dirt and mud and stuff off of Piper really, really well. And I actually might go get a few more of these because they're so handy to have and uh, since they're from the Dollar Tree, they probably won't last very long, especially if you're using them on a horse. But yeah, I really like this product and definitely would recommend it. Then I got this, it's a digital thermometer, and I don't actually have a digital thermometer for my horses, which I should, but, you know, whatever. So I have no idea if this thing will work or not, um, apparently it reads in 60 seconds. And I made sure that it's not like the kind that you stick in your mouth, like it's the other kind. <laughs> so, um, I have no idea if it'll work or even turn on. Oh, it turns on, it just beeps. Sorry, it's making noises at me. How do you turn off? Oh, that's how you turn Well, okay, so far I'm impressed. It can turn it on and turn it off with one button. So, we'll see if this works. The average horse temperature is like 100, around 100 degrees. So if it reads 100 degrees, hopefully it will. Then we'll see if it works. So first of all, I'm just putting some petroleum jelly on it, which is what the instructions said to do. And you can also get that at the Dollar Tree, I believe. And Piper was really good about getting his temperature taken. I was very proud of him. And it took about a minute and a half to get the temperature, but the temperature reads 99.5, which is within the normal range of a horse's temperature. And then, once again, I decided to get Dollar Tree food that would work for horses. And I got, they're like Fig Newtons, but they're like apple flavored. So I'm gonna try these and see if like I can eat them. And if I can, then I'll let my horses try them. Okay, they actually kind of smell pretty good. They don't expire for another month. That's encouraging. So they just look like regular Fig Newtons or whatever. They're a little dry. Not as dry as the last time. <laughs> um. The apple filling is actually really yummy. It's just like the bread part is kind of like bland, but I guess that's how it's supposed to be. I think it are like that. I mean, these aren't the only thing I would like go out and buy again just to buy them. And like the only reason I got them was for the video. So I could try them and possibly hurl on camera, but I didn't have to, so that's always good. But. Alright, Rocket says hello. You want to try one, Rocket? You like it? Hmm, you do. Where's Piper? Come here, Piper! I don't know where Piper went. No, hello, Rocket. That's all. Alright, well, thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and uh, subscribe as well. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!